Experience of learning can look like a lot of things. It can look like hands-on experiences in a classroom. It can look like service learning. It can look like internships. It can look like mentorships. It can look like leadership opportunities. We know what traditional learning looks like in the most basic sense. Uh, experiential learning is those things that involve students being in charge of or more deeply uh, in control of their own education. So in addition to working with teachers on implementing experiential learning in their classrooms, I've been fortunate to be able to take some high school students out to some events in the community. I've taken students to Creative Mornings Columbus, which is a professional networking event for adults who work in creative professions. It's the only young people in the room who are engaging fully with these adult professionals, learning about careers, learning about how they got to where they are, and learning really life lessons uh, being mentored by these adults in the room. So Creative Mornings has been really powerful for students, and I try to take students to that every month. It's always useful to have networking, even if you're younger. Knowing them, having those connections can help you get help during college or out of college. It can help you get into things that maybe you couldn't get into before. Networking is just important no matter what stage of life you are. I took 25 students to TEDx Columbus, which is Columbus's citywide TEDx event, and amazing collection of speakers, and those 25 kids were deeply engaged, and we had some amazing conversations about what they learned after that. I took a group of eight students to the State House for a, a conference put on by State Senator Teresa Fetter on the issue of human trafficking, and those students not only learned from state representatives and senators about uh, legislation related to human trafficking, but they also met uh, folks who work in the system trying to interrupt human trafficking. I just thought that I would be going to the State House, learning about it, hearing from other people, and that I would just do my own thing and just like talk about it with my family. But now I'm involved with a city council member and I have other events to go to and I have other people that I could talk to from different schools and um, like different programs and it's just opened up a lot to me. And I think we have one of the most amazing teaching staffs that you could ever ask for in a community. And I think we're all on the brink of trying to break through in terms of providing really powerful opportunities for our kids to uh, to have the experiences that will shape their futures. But well, we know that the world is changing rapidly. We're probably living through one of the greatest periods of technological growth, probably the greatest period of technological growth in the history of the human race. And schools have to change to meet kids where they are and to prepare them for the future that they're moving into. So in this rapidly changing world, it's our absolute responsibility to not only continue to provide the traditional learning experiences that were, that were fundamental in the past, but also the experiential learning opportunities that are going to be essential for our kids to thrive in the future.